In section 151 of Hansen and Quinn's Greek, an intensive course, we learn about the verb kemai. Hansen and Quinn gives it to you on pages 568 and 569. This is the last me verb, the last athematic verb I get to introduce you to. And so what we're going to see is that it is deponent, kemai, kesomai, only has two principal parts. It means lie or be placed or be set. You'll see it in lots of circumstances. And it behaves in unusual ways as a me verb. You're used to me verbs having a long grade and a short grade. But for this me verb, for kemai, they don't appear in the same places that you learned when you originally learned didomi, tithemi, and histemi. The short grade, ka, is used for the present subjunctive and the present optative. And the long grade K is used for all the other forms. So let me show you the conjugations of this verb in the present system and we'll follow those rules. So here we have the present indicative middle because this is deponent and these are the athematic endings that you know. And when we add them to the long grade of kemai will get kemai, kesai, ketai, kemetha, kestha, and kentai. Pretty simple, pretty logical, and the only weirdness is that you might not be expecting a long grade stem here. In the imperfect, we'll do the past indicative augment and the first principal part, plus the endings that we know. And again, we'll use the long grade stem. And we'll get ekemain, ekesa, eketa, ekemetha, ekestha, and ekenta. For the subjunctive, the endings that we know, the middle endings that we know for this deponent verb, but now we have the short grade because we're going to do the present subjunctive. And it doesn't contract with these endings. We simply get kaomai, kae, kaetai, kaometha, kaestha, and kaontai. For the optative, we're actually going to go back to the thematic endings for the middle, but we are going to use the short grade and not contract, the, not contract it with these endings. So we'll get kaoimain, kaoya, kaoita, kaoimetha, kaoista, and kaointa. So the short grade athematic stem, but on the thematic optative endings that we've had since we learned the middle voice. The present imperative middle does have the athematic endings that we know, and we'll go back to the long grade because we're not subjunctive or optative anymore, and we'll get kesa, kestho, kestha, and kesthon. And then for the infinitive middle, athematic, we'll get that ending sthai that we know and the long grade again because we're not subjunctive or optative, and we get case thigh. And for the present participle, we'll use the long grade again, and we'll put on the menos, mene, menon endings that are so familiar from middle participles, and we'll get kemenos, kemene, kemenon, which of course you decline the way we decline kalos, kale, kalon. And that's what you need to know about forming the conjugations of kemai. And that's your last me verb for Hansen and Quinn.